Hello once again everyone and welcome to episode 7, I believe, the Divine Divinity uh, walkthrough. Today it's a fairly interesting one we're gonna do because we are to showcase today. I'm gonna show you the a different level in which we're gonna be today. It's fairly big, it's quite large, it's almost like if you remember back when we were in Alaroth. And we went to the undergrounds in Aleroth. That that basically those levels were massive. And it's once again, it's basically a dungeons with a lot of skeleton killing. So I will do my best to try to showcase whatever it's important while making sure you don't get lost for the cuts on the editing. And yeah, let's get let's get to it. Very well, lads. Here we are at Stonefist Castle. Uh, oh, yeah. The game has been giving me issues lately. I don't know why. But in any case, he's Duke Janos. He's Alona. Before starting today, as I show you, we have a uh, as I did tell you, uh, we have a lot of things uh, to show. Well, it's a, it's a big level more than anything. Just gonna show you around the the whole place. Gonna open up here so you can see. Let's put this down. This is the farmlands. It's right beside the Curse Abbey. There's a road to Verdistis. Oh, so I'm also gonna tell you. I um, I did say this on my Discord channel. Curiosity got the better of me, and I gave it a go to Original Sin. Or you know, scene one, and I played for about three hours, and then I, I managed to find, um, well, you get to see right at the beginning, uh, Aru, or Arhu, how it's pronounced, the cat, and also hear about Sandalor. I was like, just, that, that's the moment when I said, yeah, I, I, I really don't have to play this until we make it through, because it's pretty, it's pretty good. To see that um, so, so much of that world is still relevant even then so here we got a hatch there is nothing interesting now here um, or at, at least not that I remember I did check everything here it's not much and none of these things you can pick up yeah. Uh, pff, I don't know. I might have missed something around here, but I don't think so. In any case, uh, let's get out. Nothing. Yeah. So, as you might remember, we do not have the teleporter stone, and that's a problem. That's our reliable source of. Uh, what do you say? Replenishment. So I did a rest in there. And we're gonna have to be dealing with this uh, however we can. I don't have any mana potions, which is a problem. Mm, let me check my things when I put this on. I need a shield as well. And we'll, I really need to stop putting some strength so we can use a weapon and not rely so much on the on the spells. But yeah, so once you make it uh, to the castle and you start doing all the um, silly missions that the Duke puts on you. The last one, I believe it's the teddy bear thing that we never did. It's here. This is the Duke Chambers. And down here, it's the the spoiled little brat. So we're gonna take this. We're gonna go towards that kid. Yeah, you little bitch. What is this time? Oh, the smell is horrible. I found your teddy bear, Uncle Samakane. Oh, what a name! Yuck! I have. 
to have him washed and dry before bedtime. I don't want your horrid peasant smell lingering about my bed, do I, Flunky? Well, that ain't what your mom say. Right. We're still looking for Sandalor in the cellars. Hail. Oh, sorry. I hit the microphone. I apologize. Hail, my Lord Protector. Our noble master, Duke Janos, demands your presence in the throne room on the instant. An important meeting is about to start. Hurry up, hurry up. Uh, yeah, gods, another petty little task for our great Patreon. Where uh, where will it all end, Theus? You're young, my friend. You'll have to learn that youthful rulers are full of whims and temper ta uh, tantrums. His father, gods, rest him, and uh, was such the same in the first year of his rule. So I was told. Uh, as you channel settles his positions, I am sure you'll find that he matures and will treat you with greater respect. Do you think? Do you know what this meeting is about? Why does Janos think he might uh, need his bodyguard for a simple meeting? I have no idea, my lord, but I heard the captain of the guard mention that a number of important merchants uh, from the town of Vedistis are visiting the castle today. I suspect that they will be attending at the meeting, but that is all I can say. I have business elsewhere now, so I suggest you hurry to the throne room. Duke Janos has been very short of temper of late. As usual, oh, you got a mana. Right. Uh, there. Very well then. Off we go. In the name of the Merchant's Guild, I wish to give thanks to Duke Janus, whom many believe is the Divine One, spoken of in the sacred prophecy of Reuben Farrell. And let me assure you that Janus is the true Divine One. Before we start the formal meeting, I would like to introduce my fellow merchants, all decent men and loyal subjects to the royal family. Please be quick about it, man. My precious Layla is waiting next door for me. You know how impatient new lovers can be. Uh, <clears throat> okay, hey, the kid. Oh, Divine One, allow me to present to you the worthy Sir Dante Avedistis. Next to him stands the Honorable Sir Patrick and his charming family. Also here is the good father Theophilus, who took time from a busy ceremonial schedule to attend this... My dear Trevor, I must intervene before you render me catatonic. Your speech is simply too boring. As you wish, O oh Divine One. We Fucking came hell. Stormfist Castle to support the war effort. We've heard that you are planning a great campaign against the orcs. You have heard correctly, and I appreciate your offer. I want to finish this war and devastate the orcs before the onset of winter. I do hate living in a tent. O oh Divine One, be assured that we will contribute fully to the war effort. In return for the lower tax rates you promised us, hmm? Yes, yes, my administration will sign the contracts later. But now, my dear Lady Alona wishes to say a few words to you. Thank you, my Divine One. As you have heard, Janus is satisfied with your financial efforts, but that is still not enough. There are regions in Rivalon where the benighted people do not know of the glory of Duke Janus. I want you to spread the word that Janus is the holy savior of the seven races. Only then will we win sufficient support to drive back and destroy the orcish armies. I will speak of Lord Janus in my rest day sermon, Lady Ilona. The time has at last come. The prophecy is fulfilled. The prophecy is fulfilled indeed. Consider, the great Reuben Ferrell wrote that Janus would have a wise counselor at his side and a powerful protector. How to, Lady Elona? You are clearly the wise guide of the prophecy, and the hero of Aleroth is the Divine One's Lord Protector. We see the sacred words made flesh. Exactly, Sir Patrick. The prophecy is shown to be completely true. It promises that in times of troubles, the Divine One will guide his people 
and protect them. It's all lies. I give you my most holy word, my children. Before the first snow of winter, the orc warbands will have been driven and scattered like chaff. By spring, I will have eradicated all poverty, and by my sacred sword, all shall live in peace and plenty. Hail to Duke Janus, the Divine One. Hail to Duke Janus, the Divine One. Oh, this orcs from the cellar coming. So much gold. What's all that noise coming from the corridor? Yes! Who dares disturb this meeting? I'll hang them, whoever they are. Lord Protector, follow me. Oh, there we go. Wait, what am I doing? There is Janus, the false divine one. Kill him. Lord Protector, help me! Save me! Fucking hell, kid. Oh, there, there she goes. Suddenly my weapon hits hard. You have failed to protect the divine one. What? Duke Janus had to raise his holy hand to defend himself. Oh, the indignity. You should have killed the orcs faster, you cack-handed peasant. Did you for Fuck one you. second imagine what would have happened if the sacred person of Duke Janus had been killed? I did my best, but there were too many of them. I say slay this inept coward. The price of failure should be death. My dear father Theophilus, those are brutal sentiments for a man of the gods like yourself. Besides, there are ways to make people suffer that do not call for the death penalty. So, what do you suggest we should do with this fool, your holiness? The most terrifying thing for a would-be hero is the risk of losing their reputation. I'll have this failure thrown out of the castle. Think of the agony. You would be doing me a fucking favor, quite frankly. Holy self and cast out in ignominy. Guards, take this worthless awful away. Although I don't need to get to the cellar. And don't even think about nicking anything on the way out. Ah, uh, too bad there is a lot of gold. Get out of here! Go on! Sling your hook! Ah, very well. I cannot enter now. So, there's that. What is Sandalor? Arhu told me that Sandalor went into the dungeons of Stormfist Castle to investigate Janos and the uh, strange sword he wields. I must find a way to gain access to the cellars and see if I can find the old wizard. Well, yeah, I cannot enter anymore, I think. Yeah, see? Anyone trades any mana potions, please? In any case, once that happens, and probably there should be a teleporter around here, I'm not entirely sure. That was, nice. that was a thug. Wait! Oh! May I talk with you in private, Marked One? Marked One? So you know about my mark? Assuredly I do. I knew that you bore the mark from the moment you entered the castle. It gives you a certain aura, if you understand me. Then later I eavesdropped on your conversation with that odd white cat, and my suspicions were confirmed. So you can help me, Lady Alona? Wait, what? You are a foolish creature, Marked One. Fucking hell. <laughs> I am here to take you to a secret place of mine. There we can talk about that white cat at much greater length. I don't like the tone of your voice, Lady Alona. I think I will have to decline your kind invitation. And what makes you think you have any choice, peasant? Stop calling me that. Oh, fuck. What do you want from me? You'll get nothing under threat of torture. 
Do your worst, Alona, or whoever you are. When I've finished oh, with that's the other true marked self. one, I will return. Then we'll have some fun. I've had demon blood in my veins, and I was torturing captives before I learned to walk. Trust me, you'll soon tell me everything I want to know. Fucking hell. Well, we leveled up. Oh, we have nothing. Look at that. No armor, no weapon. Literally all my things. Fair enough. So, this is what I was talking about. This is the... The underground level. That is pretty vast. Indeed. So, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do from here. Uh, I guess we just... We should just stick to this. And really constitution. Because here is where we're gonna see how under level we are for the way we've been playing this series uh, i've been advising you to always clean all the map and go exploring because that's uh, first of all it's not boring at all it, it it's really well done and that way you are not gonna be um under level like i am but we'll work it out we'll work it out oh It's Haru. He's a wizard. Psst. Come closer. My game is a uh, boogie. <laughs> Hold on. How wonderful. Superb. Right. So this guy is dead, by the way. It just gets bug all the time. I've seen it in other videos as well. Here's the key. I'll get out of here. Cheers. Escape from Iona's lair. Lady Elona has revealed her true identity. I never imagined that the uh, the loud-mouthed aristocrat actually belonged to an evil cult like the Black Ring. Uh, we did we did have our suspicions ever since we got to this castle. It's pretty obvious. Luckily, Arhu. I I always call them Aru. Apparently, it's Arhu, the talking cat was able to rescue me from the hands of the evil witch. I must escape from this prison immediately. Right, so he gave us the key. That was nice. uh, there is nothing around. This guy, don't remember. Don't worry about that. It's dead. A key. How wonderful. And our belongings are in another cellar, sort of thing. I think it's here. I didn't even see. I think Aru tells you, but I was uh, not paying attention. But yeah, as I said, it's um, quite a, a couple of levels of underground area. So when I come up here, I'm going to talk to Arhu once again. Let me check. Just looking around. Yeah. You can find your belongings in that chest over there. Right, over there. Fight your way out of this dungeon and I'll see you outside. With that magic you got, you could have helped me or something. Yeah, but this place is... Uh, especially for my level, quite difficult. So I will try to showcase everything that I can without too much guts, because remember, mm, there must be a. Remember, there is um. As I said, it's a lot of skeleton killing, just like the other underground area. Oh, there is the key. This must be the key to the room where my belongings are stored. Precisely. That was nice. Just checking out everything. Okay, so here are my things. It's a lot of things. Just gonna pick them all up real it quick. Won't work with that.
There we go. All my gold. Keys, the truth and I. I still have the truth and I. Uh, these things you have to manually move. And that's it. Around here, there is not much. Uh, let's put the club in. Let's see my... Yeah, everything is fine. I need clothes. And a shield, probably. Sorry, I can't use that. She cannot read that. Gold. Right. So I am going to show you the first level. Which is this. Uh, the way in which you should get uh, through here. It's to the right, I believe. But you do want to clean the left as well. I don't know if you can see it. I mean, let me... Let me see if I can make my way around. Because that's the way back. Okay, here is where we find the hidden shrine and the mana shrine. This is going to be our only source of replenishment. Oh. As you can see the, the enemies take a little more of a chance to get hit and they hit harder. So this is going to be our only source of replenishment. I'm going to mark them uh, just so we know where they are because this is, the, as I said, the only source of replenishment. And every time I need to recover, I'm going to have to do the run back, which is not very nice. The ghouls in this level make fire damage that remains. This door is locked tighter than a dwarf's ale purse. Uh, by that I mean that when you get hit with that fire damage, I'm not entirely sure what that just your did. character keeps taking damage for a couple of seconds, and it makes it difficult to move because you're like twitching. So this is what we're gonna do today. We wanna clean this level because there's a few things that are worth mentioning. As you can see, not everything that I shoot hits. That's because they start to take the chance, uh, sort of like dice rolls, almost. Uh, I don't know if I explained you this, but if I hit this thing, for example, you can see not all the swings hit. That's what I mean by chance. It's sort of like a dice roll when it comes to dealing damage. And this whole thing connects with the next area. It's gonna be pretty cool to see. You can see I'm running out of mana already. I must rest before I can use another spell. And every time uh, I get like this, I'm just gonna have to run back here. Do the run backs, get replenish, and come back. So I will see you uh, in the cut once I clean this whole thing, and I'll show you the uh, the things of concern. So I'll see you then. Very well, lads. We are back. So a few things. I should have to say, everything in this area, it's uh, made of steel, usually, um, you know, steel skeleton and whatnot, so, wait, can I wear this? Uh, I would just advise, I cannot, something with lining, you know, in case you are melee, try to find something that deals that sort of damage, because they are incredibly weak to that. Now, I've been looking around for quite a while, trying to see if I would find something I missed the last time. Uh, I did not. A couple of scrolls would have been nice. Uh, because there is like a reward you can get from this area. But I do not entirely work it out. So as you can see, I went through everything. Uh, everything's cleaned up. So I'm going to show you now. Um, yeah, let's begin. 
in this area. So as you know, you got these two healings, the, the healing and the mana. We work our way through. Uh, oh yeah, and go playing around with the levers because there's a lot of them. Right. There's a few things over there that I left. Uh, untouched, basically, to show you. Uh, in this area... Yeah, the connection, there is no connection as I thought, you know, like this. Uh, you just have to mm, run through, basically. In any case. Oh, a potion of shadow. When we make it here, as I pointed in the map, we got a golden ring here and gold chest and stuff like that here. The chest doesn't have anything, but there is gold, you know. It's never bad. Right. These things vex me. Because uh, there is uh, ritual looking things going on. Uh, but yet I did not find nothing regarding that. Oh, look. I did not clean this area. Okay, let's go. Why not? Maybe the, uh, here we're gonna find something like that. So yeah, there is a, a reward that you can get out of this place, but I'm not entirely sure how you do it. I think... Um, so you see, the steel warriors. They die incredibly quick with the lightning. With the meteor strike, with the fireball, it takes a while. Okay, so we got another place to enter here. Ah, yeah, I do know this place. And we're gonna come here. Uh, not just yet. I'm not entirely sure what that just did. Let's open it up, though. Right. So, just have a look at this. Remember that? We're gonna be cleaning around. to see if there's any more enemies. And if not, this is actually it. Yeah, that is it for the whole map. This is the only area that I did not clean up. Let's put a marker there. Uh, let's call it uh, Weirdy. So I don't know how to call it. Right, so let's go. I think this is actually the first thing you should do. Uh, once you make it here. This is the, like the first thing you should do. In any case, let's make a save and see if that, that's the case. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's just go like that. So, when you interact with this, we're going to talk to this guy. Be warned, this conjuration opens the seal of the gate to the lower case. It is protection to prevent the things down there coming to the upper cave. Do you want to continue? And you'll say, yes, I do. Now, here is your three choices. However, they're all the same, you can see. The first one brings up a lot of enemies. The second one, I think, opens the level. The third one, I got no idea. Uh, I did save, right? Okay, so more enemies. That's not looking good. I must rest before I can use another spell. I'm exhausted. So the leech is particularly strong to uh lightning, that's not good. There is a shortcut there that I didn't open. I wanna show you when I get back. But as you know, this is this is what I've been doing the uh, the whole time cleaning this area by the way. Just doing the whole run back. Um, or here. Replenish myself. And then just going back at it. It's been slightly tough. But what can you do? So yeah, everything that is made out of steel, you can encounter the steel skeletons and the steel scorpions. They die pretty quick with the lightning. 
uh, that leech seem to be particularly resistant to it as you can see I'm gonna put the meteor strike those hit hard oh I don't know why it's pausing itself right so this door is locked on the other side I think there is a lever to open it up that place is uh, full of scorpions but you kill them and And that's a shortcut, basically, to the whole run back that I just did. Here. I wonder what that did. Uh, yeah, I think the lever opens the door in the other way, but it, it matters not. We're gonna come here, do the thing again. Anyone else? Okay. So, we. Just confirm that the first one and the third one just bring a lot of um, enemies. The second one opens the level. This is the lower case. So we have a few things to show you though. This is a different level. And we're gonna go there first. This might end up being a long episode. I really hope not. But, you know. Some things you gotta do. This is not a long uh, sector, though. The whole thing to the to the what it's said in the mark in the house of madness. It's pretty short, actually. It's just gonna you're just gonna have a look at it. Let me replenish myself once again. Right. So where is it? Uh, here. I am here. Right. So you make it the uh, southwest, and you'll come across this area with a lot of barrels. Ah, the controllers of this game is kind of weird. I wonder if you can just bash through them. Yeah, it's difficult. I cannot move them. No. Doesn't let me. Uh, what about... No. Yeah, the connection is very weird. Don't worry. Hmm, doesn't let me move it. Right. Let's go around. Because I, I if I remember correctly. There's supposedly a way to make that um, that connection, you know, like this. Although I'm not entirely sure. In any case, I'll take you to a different place then. Um, so this, uh, if you can manage through the barrels, you're gonna make it to the house of madness. That is in a small cabin with a few things to pick up, but there is nothing much to see. You open the door and you come back out. That's pretty much it. So along the way, all the way here, doo -doo 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 -doo, you get another mana replenishment. That we're gonna go have a look. Um. Here, this is very important. It's gonna take it to somewhere else as well. And there's some key to a room that has nothing really. You get another healing, and this is one way up. So I'm gonna take you to let's see. I'm gonna take you here.
Right. So this is it. Uh, get the gold chest as I showed you before. And now here, this is what I was talking about. Like, you get a lot of this. Uh, and because we have this reward that I've been talking to you about. Um, I've been trying to, 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 to find something, you know, to play it out with the with the ritual looking places but i don't seem to find anything regarding that which is kind of uh, difficult it's kind of sad as well so next stop the house of madness i'm gonna have to um, uh leave for later we are gonna go to, 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 to all the way here mm, there wasn't really nothing here was it in here either right as I show you that's a way up you can see it let's go here teleporter and pyramids I don't even know if I spelled that right very well so you follow this path there is a lot of things to clean up down here And then you make it here, where we see it's like uh, our pyramid teleporters from before, and a portal stone in the in the ground. So when I got here, I didn't really know what to make of it because I was clicking them one by one, and this thing starts to spawn. Uh, Sorry, I can't use. Yeah, it's like one use only each of them. You click them. Skies show up. And they will um, just giving you rewards. Third one. That seems to be it. But then none of them you can use again. I'm not able to use that. You see? So we wanna use the teleporter stone. And this is a complete new level. This is a fake wall. You get where? Uh, let's mark it. You get one. Oh, this is the right. Ah, did you see? I didn't even know about this. So, the teleporter stone is here. That's where we clicked, and it send us here to the secret wall. That's cool. I didn't even realize when I was pathing this. That's fun. This is our way up, I would say, to a upper level. Before going to the upper level, I'm gonna go all the way back to... Let me show you. Here, where we spoke to the guy and we told it the second answer. And we're gonna go in the lower level. Right. So, back here, uh, remember, speak to the guy, give him the second answer, you open the lower uh, level. From here, it's a little bit more of the same, but um, there is a few things to find, that's the thing. I wonder what that did. So, I reckon I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to clean the whole thing. Um, and then I'll... I'll show you around. Actually, I don't even think I need to cut this much because it's... It's pretty simple, it's just... The ghouls in this level, as you can see... Oh, it's a leash. It's a couple of leeches. That's not particularly good. The really fucky thing about this could be the fact that uh, some of them, some of them l lower level ghouls, they don't make that much damage, but they definitely do the that fire damage. That one, and it keeps the burning, and it takes your health, basically. 
entirely sure what so yeah, I'll clean this up and I'll see you then, I guess. Very well, lads. So, I clean a lot of, of this area. Uh, there is not much of interest to find. Uh, there's a few chests and a, a lot of mis miscellaneous stuff. Uh, the real reason you want to do this is because it gives you a lot of level and, and, and gold more than anything. I'm pretty sure by the end of this trail, uh, all the way here, by the very end, you find another candle skeleton ritual guy. Uh, but yeah, you don't have you have no idea how long I've been doing this because I had to do the rumbacks to heal myself. The real problem is the mana. That's the thing. So yeah, I reckon I'm not gonna finish cleaning that place. Although, again, as I said, it's a lot of miscellaneous stuff. It's not really nothing of importance. More than a lot of gold and a lot of level. This is these are my stats. Just so you know. Uh, yeah, as I said, the pro the real problem was the mana, but it was a problem nonetheless. So I'd rather not keep going those rumbacks. Uh, at least for that area, that is because it was a lot. As you saw, I cleaned a lot of that, and the rumbacks were always uh, larger uh, every time. You know. Right, so we got the teleporter, and we went through the um, through the to, to the lower area. I clean a lot of that. What else is there? There, well, there's nothing else really. We're gonna get out of here then. Let's go here to the TP. Uh, where am I? Here. Let's go here to the TP. We wanna teleport over there where there is the um, the hiding. Uh, what do you call it? The hiding wall, fake wall, uh, Dark Souls style. Remember, we have this uh, here. Teleporter. Some mana uh, replenishment. Save and see. We're out. We are outside. There you are. I was beginning to think you'd never come out of that damn dungeon. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, I would have never made it without your help, little friend. But for you, I have left m m my moldering bones down there. Meow. Uh, what, how do you say? Meow. Just doing my job, squire. But now I need a favor from you. Your wish is my command, my fair master. What the hell? Meow. Got the sarcastic theatrics. Sandalar went to Stormfield's castle, but never returned. I want you to go in there after him. Ah, uh, well, the thing is I cannot get in now, can I? Look, how can we rescue Sandalor if we don't know where he is? And how am I supposed to get into Stormfield's castle? I don't think they let me back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me back in there, after Janos gave me the push. I recall Sandalor telling me a long time ago about ancient crypts below the castle where all artifacts are res uh, are stored. Uh, that's probably where he went, and that's almost certainly where he's trapped. It is not like Sandalor at all to stay away that long. How on earth am I going to get in those crypts if they exist? Oh, they do exist, but I don't have knowledge about the secret passages leading uh, leading in and out of Stormfish Castle. There are sewers under River Town, uh, though. I reckon if water can get out of Stormfish Castle, people can get in as well. I have heard as well uh, that the sewers are crowded with vermin and aggressive lizard people. I might be roaming there forever if Sandler is really in danger. We don't have time to waste. 
Perhaps there is another way. Rumors say that the thief's guild can get it anywhere, even in the castle. Great. And how do we go uh, on from here? Pass your map uh, down here and I'll at least mark an entrance to the sewers. If you want to find now where the secret entrance to the crypts under the Stormfish castle is, you can either look for it uh, yourself or contact the thieves guild in Verdistis. Those sneaks uh, know every pothole and short court in the town. They usually have a man on duty in the Ducal Inn. Very well then. Find out what happened to Sandalor. Arhu is fairly sure that some uh, something has happened to Sandalor. I have been thrown out of Stormfist Castle, so I cannot enter the castle again without being seen. Arhu wants me to uh, to get in touch with the Thief's Guild. He says that these scoundrels can get in anywhere, they uh, anywhere they want. According to Arhu, I can contact the Thief's Guild in the Ducal Inn, located in Verdistis. Mmm. So it seems. Oh. No, that annoying cat. I shall cook his heart and eat it. That's uh, Elona. And as for you, Marked One, you shall not leave this place. Rise, rise from your graves and don't let him leave. Oh. That's it? Oh. Very well then. It seems that we like we will be going to Verdistus. Oh snake. Right. Who are you? Oh stranger, have you seen my good friend Shrimpo? He has to be here somewhere, but I can't find him. Uh, no, not at all. If you see him, please tell Shrimpo that Apollo is looking for him. Uh, but how can you be so sure he's near this place? Your Shrimpo. Uh, it's not that snake at your skill, is it? Last time he was seen on the graveyard north from here, near a group of gravestones to the northeast. Okay, it's another side quest, I guess. Right. So there we go, lads. We're out of there. And we still have to... What? We still have to find Sandalore. That is proving slightly more complicated. But worry not. We will find him. Uh, it seems like we're going to wear this. This now, uh, I think I'm going. Uh, I don't know. I, I I should end the episode here. I think you have no idea the amount of time I I I was down there. But considering everything that I'm going to cut, uh, the video is not even going to be like 20 minutes long. Is it? I think we can carry on for a little longer. So once we make it out of there. You want to follow the path on the right. Up. This path on the right. Oh my god. This path on the right, it's gonna take you to... Something that looks like a church. You know, at least we're we're out. Finally. To the church north. God's it is indeed the church. Fair enough. I have a lot of gold, don't I? If there is something I need to start worrying about, it's about my equipment. But yes, I was telling you, I did see the cheat table and I think 
for the series would be really good, but I don't know if I want to do it. But frankly, what it does is like you can remove all the fog of war and basically we can do whatever we want. But I don't know. There is some authenticity of doing it this way, don't you think? The song is really good though. This is the church. Oh, ghosts. <laughs> he got out. He got calcinated, man. I can't even see them, actually. Ah, oh, they died pretty quick. Oh no, not leeches again. Come at me, ghosts. A lot of them, isn't it? Oh. Oh, the church is massive. It's really nice. And the music is good. Holy book. It's actually pretty cool. The church. When I entered the church, I saw a ghost attacking a priest and a monk. The priest ran away into his confession chair. Oh, that is true. I saw it. Uh, okay. It's pretty nice to read when you're in the first place. And then painting, paintings. That's really good. It's locked. Can I unlock it? No. Oh, a ghost. Holy book. That's a lot of them. What the hell? Right. Is it here? Huh? Who is there? Oh, I thought they have found their way in here. What brings you to this forsaken place, stranger? Uh, stranger, I am no stranger to you. You are the damn priest who wanted my head cut off in, in Storfin's castle. Uh, now I recognize you. You nearly got Duke Janus killed by your incompetence. Hardly. I just didn't feel like protecting that penny they asked Duke. <laughs> oh. oh really I'll have you know that little pain in the ass is the only hope for us to survive Janus is the divine one fucking bullshit it all started a few days ago the howling, the ghostly appearances and now father Danos uh, Danos was killed oh yeah the guy in the... where will this all end Hmm. You mentioned howling. How can you uh, can you explain this to me? We often hear screams of pure pain. It is awful. You will never forget the first time I heard it. Uh, I nearly jumped out of my rope. I was horrified. You said something about ghostly appearances. Can you give me some more information? Yes. Ghost appearance uh, appearing out of nowhere coming to hunt us. Or why are they doing this to us? Because you are a piece of shit, probably. Um, what can you tell me about, uh, about Father Danos? Uh, he was a good worker, always performed his task on time. Not like that boy Vinny that has been with us for some time. I don't know what he, uh, we will do with him. 
Vinny is a boy we took in our church some time ago. He doesn't have any family and was wandering the streets of Rivertown for quite some time. He doesn't have any manners. It is. It will take us a long time to get that boy back on track. Okay. Any idea what is causing the events here? The only thing I can come up with uh, is the secretion of this holy church. But I don't see how. We have been performing the rituals every day as they have been performed for the past hundreds of years. Uh, I have been studying the books here to see if we are forgetting something, but I can't find anything. What is this place? You are in a secret library uh, of this church. Nobody knows of it. So I would appreciate you keep telling about it. Alright, be careful. Strange things are happening here. Is that it? Well, I'm gonna have a look around your stupid library. I am a librarian, after all. Look at the state of this. This is not a library. The church. I spoke to Father Theophilus. He believes something or someone may have been desecrating the church. Uh, that would explain why spirits are roaming the place. Uh, oh, wait, is this a mission? Like, do you actually have to read it all and find something they've been doing wrong? It's a little bit odd. What the hell is that? Did he be on it? The fuck? Hmm. I'm not tempted to drink this. Not after I saw that boy peeing in it. He did pee in it. What the hell? I saw a boy peeing in the golden chest in front of the altar. Perhaps this is causing the desecration. Eh, uh, probably. <laughs> I mean, can I speak to this guy? Yo! I saw a boy pee in the golden chest in front of the altar. What? But, Vinny, now it is clear to me all this time the little miscreant has been peeing in the mass wine. <laughs> of course, the spirit that live in this place got enraged by this pure act of desecration. What's going on now? Wait, don't leave, I wanna see. Thank you for informing me about Vinny's heretic actions. I sent him away immediately. Now everything can return to normal. Here, take these gold pieces as a reward for helping me out. Uh, do you know where Vinny went? He probably is roaming the streets of Rivertown again. If you really want to find that miscreant, I see you look in the poor area. Uh, that's where I found him. What is it you do here? I run this church. Every day I perform rituals to honor the gods. Apart from that, I also sell all sorts of potions. My hobby is to uh, is brewing them. How much for this? Haven't you got any... Very well. It seems like that's just a small side quest, but in any case, 
the thing is now to go back to Stormfist Castle. That being the case, uh, hopefully we can avoid the Cursed Abbey. We are not gonna go there yet. Um, surely it's some sort of path here, right? And we are gonna try and get in, get back in, or we can just try and find the um, the Thief Skill that would be going here to Verdis this. But that will be for the next episode. I apologize if it's if it's going uh, if it came out shorter than usual episodes. Um, I did not control the. The whole paving of the um, pathing of the of the underground area. I really appreciate you. Uh, you watch the video. Remember comment, like, please. That would help a lot. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. I will be uploading daily uh, as a um, as a pay up for taking so much time with the videos and making it so short. This one. I will be uploading daily until Thursday, in which we stream. Remember, we stream in the purple website, you know, the one that looks like a porn website nowadays. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye bye.